You might not have heard about Foxconn. It's a Chinese company that makes a lot of the products we all know and love. iPhones, Xboxes, Playstations and more. Since starting in 1974, Foxconn grew immensely, with $131 billion in revenue last year. But how did it all start? In 1974, Terry Gu founded Foxconn, which was then named Honhai. He only had $7,500 to start with, and only 10 workers. They started by making plastic parts for TV sets. They didn't have much money, money and weren't able to successfully grow. But then, in 1980 came a turning point when they received an order from Atari to make the console joystick, which was a huge thing at the time. What helped their business tremendously was that Go was a very aggressive salesman who often broke in uninvited into companies and was able to get additional orders this way. Despite having security called on him, that helped the business further expand. By 1988, Honhai opened their first factory in China, in Shenzhen, which is their biggest factory to this day. Production in China went up significantly when Go integrated a new assembly line process. And nowadays, their Shenzhen factory employs over 450,000 employees. It has four swimming pools, a fire brigade, its own TV network called Foxconn TV, and a city center with a grocery store, bank, restaurants, bookstore, and a hospital. Between 1990 and 2006, they grew largely by signing big customers like HP, IBM, and Apple. They were also able to grow by buying a lot of companies like Anti Electric, a Taiwanese company that makes car related technologies, Asia Pacific Telecom, a company that provides internet and mobile services, Sharp, a Japanese company that makes phones, TVs, and more. They also bought a lot of other smaller companies. In 2006, they had an initial public offering, and they had continued growing ever since. So as you can now get an understanding, they are a huge company that has evolved over the years to become this great company that it is today. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.